He's very heroic. He's very, um, <laughs> he wants to save Middle Earth. Yeah. And I think that, you know, any bad things that happen are a consequence of everyone else. Hi Sky, I'm Eric from BT Bus Thailand. Hi. Hi, Charles. Great, how are you? What's up, bro? <laughs> oh, wow, hey, okay. very nice. Hi, everybody. <laughs> okay, first question. Assuming the ring stop power were with you right now, what would you use it for? Um, flying. Really? That's my answer. <laughs> Other than world peace, take that as red. You changed to flying, though. Your original one was... I'm trying to think of different. The original one, what was it? Invisibility. Invisibility. It would enable me to move through the world unnoticed, unnoticed, and being rather creepy and sort of voyeuristic. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah. That's perfect. <laughs> I said um, laser vision, but then I thought it's really useless. I think we decided that was a bit risky. I mean, you'd go around burning things. Yeah. You could cook your food fast. <laughs> no gas anymore. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You'd, yeah. You wouldn't need an oven. I bet you'd probably kill a few people by accident. If it was just like, a, like an unlimited credit card, and you can just do 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 and tap <laughs> anything ever. Oh man! This time around, I'm gonna do. So oh no! So I've said. I've said teleporting. I've said breathing underwater. That was a good one. Um, Solving okay. world hunger. You see, you can't do that when I say something so shallow. I mean, I mean, you what? said this yesterday, and I agree. Yeah, the, <laughs> yeah, I'm speaking any language in the world. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Yeah. Uh, and, and for me, healing. Healing. Um, yeah, maybe. Yeah. I would use it to heal others. There's so much sickness in the world. The idea that you could have a ring on that could help you to heal would be absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. World peace, good food, good company, <laughs> for good. Yeah. A force for good. That's what I would hope to use it for. I think being British, better weather. <laughs> <laughs> Simple, the sun. Yeah, a little bit more sun. I'm worried about no rain means no water, so in the world. So. Aha, yes, okay. you know yeah. that. So you're <laughs> I would say world peace. Yeah. But you have to be careful because the rings are very powerful and they're about power and power corrupts. So. Mm. In the rings of our set, there are so many cool stuff like the ring, the sword, the shield, arrow, the course. And if you can choose which item would you like to bring some back home as to win it? It's a tough question. Well, for me, it there are so many things. <laughs> the ring on a practical level, and I would choose the one ring. Oh, it's just a prop. It doesn't have the powers. And then maybe, but like also a sword. A sword? Yeah, yeah. Quite, quite good. Yeah, a sword would be good. I'd like something that I could use at home though. I don't know if I'd have much use for a sword. Cutting, cutting bread? I think that might Vegetables. be a bit, a bit elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> Pumpkin? <laughs> I would probably have some, something um, like my... i tell you what I'll have. I have, there was a little anvil that was a paperweight on my desk. Nice. I would use that because that's something I could use at home. I've got a black pearl ring on my pinky finger, far as <laughs> and I'd I'd like to think I could pull that off walking down the street. So when it all ends, come at the end, <laughs> I think I will I will ask Amazon's permission if I could have the black pearl ring. <laughs> it's interesting because in in Numenor this season in our world, we're not quite uh, at the place of having the rings in our orbit, but we have another powerful tool, the Palantir, and it, and it is a, a big part of our story in season two. And it kind of looks like a bowling ball. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so when you go with this, you'd have three holes. Yeah, yeah. Drilled it's in like a fancy bowling, bowling ball, ball but but it is uh, in our part of the world. It's it's a pretty cool uh, prop and and very important in in Numenor this season. We need it. So many, so many. Everything is so beautiful. I would love to bring, I would love to take. Poppy has a little spoon as part of her costume. And I just think it's so beautiful. Also sort of like, you know, there's like a little sort of character personal history with it. Yeah. And um, I think, yeah, I just, I just love it. Yeah, I love the apple seeds, the voice of the apple seeds. They kind of, each seed represents a um, half foot that's passed away. And I just think it's a really beautiful way to connect all of the half foots. Um, so I would definitely bring that back. But I also love the armor, the elven. Mm, the elven that's, yeah, the it's armor amazing. that they wear. 
It's pretty yeah. beautiful. I, think I, would, I would go Mirror of Galadriel or mm. Florida Palantir. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's like, yeah. you know, having a seeing stone would be the freaking coolest thing would ever. You <laughs> Okay, Shari, as we all know, Sauron is a villain, bad guy. But how about talking about the good things or things you like about this character? What do you think of? He's very heroic. He's very, um... <laughs> he's very, uh... He wants to do good for everyone else. Every, he wants to save Middle-earth. Right. And I think that, you know, any bad things that happen are a consequence of everyone else. Right. What will you do with them? Create a perfect and lasting peace. Charlie, can you teach me how to be a great manipulator like Sauron? If I want to be Sauron, what do I have to do? You've got to appeal to the needs of your victim. <laughs> victim? <laughs> well, let, let's put it simply, that's Sauron showing his true colors there. Yeah, it is. Of your subject. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, so yeah. you have to kind of work out what they need and then you and then have to give use it. that need <laughs> yeah, as a carrot to get them to do what you want them to do. Wicked. Yeah. Really wicked. Yeah. Rule them all as one. Falcon who did. Next question. Who is your favorite Lord of the Rings character and why? I so, I mean, I love the Ents and I get to play with the Ents this year, this season, which is Pretty awesome, and I love uh, I love Gandalf. I think he's a baddie. I think every iteration of Gandalf is kind yeah. of yeah. He's uh he's a guy that you hang. I that would be a travel buddy, a drinking buddy, <laughs> yeah. uh, smoking buddy. Uh, <laughs> um, I would probably say like probably Mary Mer and Pippin are like a a mm. duo. Surely I can just say them both because they, yeah. they they come as a package deal. Okay, do you want to do the same time? Yeah. Should I just answer the question? No, no, and see if I can guess yours. Okay. Okay, Go three, on. two, one. Tom Gollum. Bombadil. <laughs> <laughs> Gollum is my favorite. Okay. Um, because he's a distorted version of what he once was, and I find that very fascinating. Mm. Mine is, do you think you can guess? I probably won't know the name, but is it from, is it, would I know it from the movie? No. Would I, okay. <laughs> Then I probably won't. Um, Baron from Baron and Luthien, yeah. and I like his journey, and he does lots of really cool stuff. He gets his arm bitten off, and that was that. That's really cool. But it grows back, right? I think yeah, he, he gets it grown back because he's just a man. He can't grow it back himself. Oh, okay. okay. But I think he gets gifted the arm back. Oh. Maybe not. I can't remember. I'll have to. I'll have to look that up. <laughs> okay, Ismail, you are required to highly skilled usher. How are you actually skilled now? Do you think you are good enough to be a professional usher? Professional? Yeah. No. However, if the zombie apocalypse happens and the zombies are coming, I'm with him. you should tag along. Mm -hmm. You should come along because I am. In, I'm skilled enough to to hunt. Can you guys describe this show in three words? I'm, I'm, I'm going to do three syllables, breathtaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, I would say cinematic. Epic. Epic. Okay. Thank you so much, Kai, for your time. Okay. Hope Thank to you. see you in Thailand one day. Oh, we hope to be love there. To. Yeah. I'm shot there. <laughs> I'm shot there and I loved it. Yes, yes we love, love it. That would be yeah. great. Same. Yeah, yeah. Thank, Thank you so very much. much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it, man.